The official Pixel Experience version based on Android 12 is out for the Redmi Note 10 Pro, Redmi Note 10 Pro Max users. If you're a user of any of this device, you can install this thing. This is Pixel Experience version official version. Although the Plus version is still not officially rolled out and this Pixel Experience version is already available for the Redmi Note 8 and a lot of other devices. The version which we are using here, which of course based on Android 12 with the latest December security patch, not latest of course January is going on right now but yes December security patch is a January security patch is not so implemented yet while making this video but December security patch isn't that bad the room was released maybe two three days ago and I just tried this one the thing is it's actually quite smooth it's buttery smooth the app multitasking etc seems to be great but yes depends upon a lot of things as this is Android 12 Android 12 compared to Android 11 is still not that great. It's just my opinion as always. It's not that great. Looks good, but it's not great enough. I think so. If you go and give it a try, you can. I think so. The multitasking seems to be improved. If you compare it with some other Android 12 business rooms, there are many Android 12 business rooms right now available. Even for Redmi Note 10 Pro, some great custom rooms include Project Elixir, Pixel Plus UI, based on Android 12. Those rooms are quite good. But if you compare it with Pixel Experience, or if you're a fan of Pixel Experience, then you can try out because it's official version and it's out there for your device. The title, etc., is there, but no separate title for Wi-Fi and mobile data, unfortunately. Even no customizations, no white background. Yes, we can expect these things in Pixel Experience. And maybe if the Plus version will be out, we might see some new changes. We might see some new features, etc. Let's just talk about some bit of things about here. For example, let me show you the Google Photos storage if it is there or not. Unfortunately, no Google Photos unlimited storage if you compare it with the Pixel Plus UI or Project Elixir. Both of the custom rooms have good kind of things available for you, but in this one, it's unfortunate we don't have those things available for you. I think so, it's good, but other things are kind of same. Let's move on to some other things. For example, how about the safety net status? If you have rooted your device with the latest version of Magis, what I did, I am using the latest Magis version, Magis 20. I'm not using the Canary version, by the way. You can use the Canary version. The Magis hide will be gone from there. But yes, if you don't want to use that, you can use the stable version. And safety net status does not have any kind of issues for you. Same like with me. I am not I'm not having any kind of issues with safety net status. Of course, you need to hide Magis from settings. Move on to settings and you need to enable the option called Magis Guide and you're good to go. By the way, I haven't tried out any kind of model by installing this Magis thing on my device to pass the safety net status. You can see no modules is what I have installed. Of course, other modules are available. Mag Magis repositories, of course, there you can use and install some modules if you want to. But I haven't did that yet. Talking about some other things, for example, let's move on to the settings option and see if we have something different or not. The apps, if you move on to the app section, yes, gaming dashboard is included and which is working pretty fine. If you want to play BGMI or any games, you will see the game dashboard will work for you. At least this is good in some customs like Lineage etc. The thing was not working there, but it's there. Battery section, I tested the battery percentage etc. You can see the active drain is approximately 9% per hour, 8 to 9% per hour is actually good. And of course, that's with 120 hertz refresh rate. It's not with 60 hertz. I always use 120. If we have a device which has 120 hertz display, why would you go for 60 hertz? Some users will go there, but yes, I will always use. I will always be using 120 hertz on my device. Morning theming etc. was expected, which is working pretty fine. You can see theme icons is there. You can even use to customize the app grid etc. By the way, the pixel launcher which it is included is not the modified one. So the icons are same with the default pixel launcher. No face unlock expectedly. Of course, you cannot expect face unlock very soon. But yes, we may expect it. Let's see how much time it will take. Other things are kind of same. If you move on to the system settings, you can see some gestures like almost same. No major customizations, nothing at all. If you want to install this build installation is same like other custom rooms. Make sure you're using any good custom recovery. By the way, it also has the OTK updates, which I'm not sure if it is working or not. If I always use, I don't use the OTK updates at all. But if you want, you can. This is all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through
through the earth.